to go on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Stavolsky. This series has been sensational to this point. Let's see if it continues tonight. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Every game critical in the postseason. This one, no different, and we are underway. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Quick feed to Everly. Big save in front. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Solar Bears win it in the defensive zone. Orlando's got a hold of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Clears it. Turned aside with the glove by Bednar. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Greenville's got the puck in the defensive end. Such has got it in the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Angeli. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Great reach with the stick by Everly. Stopped by the goaltender. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Takes it into the slot. Scores! And quick as a hiccup there on the board here in this one. Well, that's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get in front, and you want to dictate base. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. The Solar Bears crowd has really come to life here early in this first period after that goal. Uh, anytime that you're sitting in the room before the game, you know there's all that energy. Well, they've corralled it, and it has just exploded all at the same time with an absolutely electric start getting on the board early in the opening period. Messicott's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Just slide to the net. There's a chance in front. We're going to get a penalty coming up here. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And they send it down the ice. Moves it over to Mesikov. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Kemp. Toss up the puck after that hit. And now he moves it quickly to Mesikov. Oh, that goes just wide of the net. I think he had more time than he thought here, James, with the pressure coming in on him. He just releases the puck quick, and he misses wide. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Orlando's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Takes a shot. Club save. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still lots of time left in the period. The Solar Bears lead it 1-0. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck in their own end. Greenville's penalty has now expired. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and the good aggressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Moves it to Holscher, and bunts it out of midair. Here's a chance, and there's the save. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Orlando still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. And they win the draw here in their own end. Martin stick handling in his own zone. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Gets it along the wall by 
Volkov. The Silver Bears get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Fires it, and that misses. Slides it quickly to Polka. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. Gosselin's lugging the puck. Greenville's looking to break out of their own end. Greenway's got it along the wing. The Solar Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Great pressure with the stick. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Greenville's moving it up the ice. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And they'll dump it in. Orlando's got it in their own zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick pass to Russell. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Takes a shot. The Solar Bears have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. The Swamp Rabbits move to the offensive zone. Moves the puck down low. And he takes the feed. And that's deflected off someone in front. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the call is. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You've got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Let's it go! Stopped by the goaltender. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Tries to feed it over to Angeli. Orlando's got the puck against the boards. Sends it to the score! Great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Silver Bears extend the lead to 2 nothing here, and we're still only in period number one. Well, they've really dictated pace in this one. They've owned the puck, and in the offensive zone, they're putting pucks to the net at will, and they're just dominating in terms of their shot selection. Orlando's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. And off the face-off, they take possession. Loose puck battle along the boards. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Angeli. The Solar Bears have it now. Here's a short pass to Angeli. The Swamp Rabbits have the puck now. Here they come. Freeman's going to play to the corner. Good use of the body on the play. Across the line along the left wall. Throws it to the middle. And he'll hang on to a touring group here for a moment. The Swamp Rabbits move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Martin. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Tees up! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Turn to side with the club by Fitzpatrick.
here in the late goings of the period. Orlando's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Solar Bears win the draw. Musa quickly over to Lucha. This one! Stop by the goaltender. Scores! All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. The Swamp Rabbits win the draw here in the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. Fitzpatrick's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Orlando's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. The Solar Bears start with the puck in their own end. Directs it on over to Lucha. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time. Go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories.
to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Orlando's playing with an attack mentality, James. Every time they're in the offensive zone, they're looking to take it to the net. You put bucks on net, you're going to score goals. The Silvers look to start the transition game. Looks to get the puck over to Angeli. Loses his balance on the play. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Such. And he takes the feed. Denied that one. Fitzpatrick's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaged and keeping himself in it. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Solar Bears are clinging to a 2-1 lead. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it to Carroll. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Swamp Rabbits will play it in their own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked off by Luchuk. The Solar Bears have been stealing pucks all game, and when you intercept passes and you find ways to get your sticks in lanes, you typically find a way to possess the puck, but they've got to open it up here. This game's awfully tight. Quick pass to Carroll. Orlando's looking to break out. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Solar Bears grab possession to the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Greenville's been right there with them all night long. And look at this. We've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Boca's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, what a close save by Bittgard! Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Orlando's got it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Greenville's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Freeman. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Bianca Batuka. Orlando's got the puck in the defensive end. Massacott's got it along the boards. Oh, there's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot. Probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching, just thinking that puck was going to go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. And nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Greenville's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Centering pass! That's intercepted. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Bieka Batuka's got it in the defensive end. The Solar Bears carry it along the wall. Here's a shot. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. The Swamp Rabbits have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Taken by Gosling. Orlando's got the puck along the wall. Oh, that's a smart heads up play as he breaks it up with the poke. 
We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Up by one, and you take the penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1, one, one, where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Solar Bears are going to serve two for tripping here. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more Parker, ice out there Parker. for your opponent, too. Fitzpatrick's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. More than half the period left to play. Greenville's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Winslow's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a chance on the attack. Up along the wing. And he makes the save. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Well past the midway mark of this period, 3-2 is where we're sitting. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Well, this is why you practice that play, James. You're in the offensive zone, and you got to make the most of it with a key win. Everyone knows their responsibilities. They take it to the net, and it's a great goal. The Swamp Rabbits make their way back to center now, boasting a two-goal lead here in the second. Uh, and you can certainly see that they're playing more relaxed, much easier when you got a two-goal lead here, James. But I've liked everything about their game tonight. They've been creative, they've played free, but they've also been defensively responsible. Greenville's got a brief window on the power play with the penalty expired. That's good by Bittnard. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. The Solar Bears have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. And Jelly's standing up, ready to go. Power play has expired. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. The Swamp Rabbits take possession off the face-off. Greenville's got it in their own zone. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Matz is picking up steam. Oh, he got blocked right into the bench. Oh, and this was purposeful. You gotta be aware of where you are on the ice, especially when you're near your opponent's bench, and now he is on the other side of it. Man, he's gotta pick his head up and get out of there. Here in the back half of this period, the Swamp Rabbits have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. Broken up by Matza. The Swamp Rabbits ready to go on the attack. Net knocked off, it's Mooring will get a face off. Face off. Matz has got the puck in his own zone. Tosses it on to Tech. Freeman's got it against the boards. Right in the slot. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. The Swamp Rabbits get a little bit of bad luck right here as the puck goes off the post and out. The good part is they still have the lead. Moves it to Coyle. 
Martin's taking it from his own end. The Swamp Rabbit's looking against the half wall. The Solar Bears take it along the wing. Now a quick pass to Boca. Quick shot! Well saved made by Bednar. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Late goings of this period. The Swamp Rabbits have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. They win the draw and go on the attack. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Winslow. Takes the feed. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Centering feed. And that's intercepted. Sends it across the ice. And he slides it quickly to Lewis. Picked up along the boards by Greenway. Along the half wall with the puck. Denies him. He got all of it. The Solar Bears need to start finishing on some of these chances here as we are now late in the second. Greenville's won the faceoff. The Solar Bears gain possession in their own end. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Shot! Turns that one away! It's been solid here tonight, James. I mean, look at his save percentage. He's been excellent between the piece, and that's making the saves that you need to and you want to at the appropriate moment. Man, his team's been effective going north. Orlando's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. The Silver Bears have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Comes into the pass! Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Orlando's got one back. Now can they build on this from here? They need to build on it. This is an emotional goal as the second period is coming to an end, and they have to find a way to continue this momentum and build on top of it as they hit the third. Works it across to Biakovicuka. Orlando's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Denies that opportunity. Here's a blast. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth. They'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. He grabs the puck here at the point and gets a piece of it with the trapper. 
Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Makes his presence known on the ice. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. A great kill and the ability to keep this game within reach. You know now that they've got the momentum moving forward. You never know what's going to come next. Here's a chance. Caught into the club by Bittner. in this period. The Swamp Rabbits have just had a little more offense than their opponents tonight. They lead it 4-3. And now it's grabbed by Coyle. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. The Swamp Rabbits get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes the feed. And that's blocked in traffic. Fitzpatrick's gonna hang on for a whistle. The Solar Bears have been the better team tonight, but they still trail in the scoreboard early in this third period. Greenville's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And a quick save on that one. Fitzpatrick's movements are outstanding. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic. He makes a huge save from the slot. Martin stick handling in his own zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. That's a solid check on the player. Oh, I saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Greenville's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, look out! What a collision into the boards. Toss it up in the neutral zone. And pokes the puck loose. He scores! What a goal! Well, a real great job by the net front player here. Looking back seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you gotta out battle the net front player. You gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. The Swamp Rabbits haven't exactly been on point here tonight, but yet, look at the scoreboard here, Cheryl. Up by two here in the third. Well, it's all about timing and the recognition of a quality shot over quantity here, James. I mean, they've had the minority of shots on net, and guess what? This spells frustration for their opponent. Takes the pass. Greenville's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Here's a short pass to Russell. And that's a great hit. So play the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Freeman. The Swamp Rabbits played along the boards. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. And that's blocked. The Solar Bears take it across the line. Oh, the save of the play. Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. The goaltender, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. They have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Swamp Rabbits have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Sends it quickly to Carroll. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the official decision. The Swamp Rabbits are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Solar Bears send 
their man advantage unit at once more. Well, they worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Now the point of a power play, James, is to have an advantage, and there has been none right here. As you can see, the puck being sent back all the way to their zone. They have to find a way to connect on those passes and create some opportunities. Grabbed along the board by Angeli. Pass to Cruz, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Moves it quickly over to Angeli. Makes the save. Bednar's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident, controlled in the crease. Orlando needs to convert on one of these scoring chances, and they've had a lot of them tonight, but they still find themselves down in period three. Puck scooped up by Coyle. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. The Solomons are being called for tripping. and yet they trail late in this third period. The Swamp Rabbits will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Orlando's grabbed a hold of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. Moves it to Massacott. Coming to the slot. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Bednard's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. <laughs> Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Can't hang on after that hit. The Swamp Rabbits gain control of the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Fires it on net. And it goes off a player in front. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. From the right side.
drop, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Swamp Rabbits work it through center. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Under a minute to go in the third. The Swamp Rabbits have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Everly's going to play it against the half wall. Puts it on net. Nothing. From behind the net. What a hit against the wall. Dismiss that chance. Frustration bubbling over late in the game when you're down by a bunch. You know you're not getting back in it. You deliver that hit. Yeah, it's one thing. You know it's over. You're completely frustrated, and you chose. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And the game is over, and they punch their ticket on to the next round. And look at the smiles on the ice as they celebrate a dominant road win. Really impressed how this squad absolutely battled through a hostile environment and they're moving on. It's almost like they were listening and hearing chants that were for them, not against them. And with yeah. every boo, they just rallied around it and found a way to get it done. And that's mental tenacity, finding a way to breathe through those distractions. I think they did a great job and they, they're rewarded for it, James. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.